What did you think watching the Rick Ross Reebok thing unfold as someone who's both been on the side of working, I'm sure, with companies before and being someone that was too street for companies to mess with? How did you, what did you think as you saw that thing unfold with, between him and Reebok? To me, you know, he bigger than Reebok. You know, they wanted him. He didn't want them. So, you know, take it to somewhere else. I had that same issue with Converse. You know, I was the official spokesperson for Converse. If you ask me, I made everybody in the world wear Chuck Taylors. I made all gangsters, white folks, Hispanics, everybody. But nobody doing it like I was doing it till I did it. So I approached him and said, let's do a deal. they like, you too hard for us. You too this, you too that. So I said, you know what? Let me go holler at Adidas. I went over to ID Dobbs and we got it together. Now Converse is slowly slipping and falling off and ID Dobbs is everywhere. Every rapper, every entertainer, everybody that's cool is connected to ID Dobbs. Thank you very much. All day I dream about Snoop. Hello. <laughs> you gotta know how to flip it. You gotta make it yours. If they don't wanna get you the game, Rick, it's for me to you, Ross. You got to go to somebody that want to give you the game. You can't go play with somebody who you try to play with. Play with who want to play with you. Now, do you think, okay, in a situation like that where he says a line that he actually believes is regrettable, let's say he really thought it was regrettable, do you think it was advisable to apologize or you would have just said, listen, you're an artist, it's a line we you said, keep it moving? don't have no regrets as rappers. I mean, my class, where I come out of, the old school, I mean, we old school now, we don't have regrets. We say what it's we new, say. It's a new day where now, where you people used to get money from a record label that didn't care what was said because no matter what controversy you got into, you would sell more records. Now it's these corporate sponsors that are giving money to the entertainers. The record labels don't have it like they used to, so there is a different if, if regret a, now. If you a boss, let's get that part right. If you a boss, what are you doing dealing with employees? You're supposed to be dealing with a boss, boss to boss. You could never drop me. Like Jay-Z say, I dropped the label. Hello. Flip the script. <laughs> you make it so simple. Hello. What are you messing with musically right now? Anything you're into? Oh, wow. I've been listening to some jazz music lately, right? Oh, Jazz Snoop's coming next? No, no, no. That would be I, did, I did a project with Clark Terry, though. The great Clark Terry, Mr. Mumbles. Me and uh, Terrence Martin and Quincy Jones flew out to his house and recorded Woody. He, he's Whoa. one of the, the, the greatest Mr. Mumbles, look him up, Clark Terry. And you just did a song? Did a couple of songs when he went out to his house and, you know. Where? Where's his house? In Arkansas. With Quincy Jones and Terrace Martin? Yeah. Wow, that's an interesting. So Quincy made me do it, though. He was like, because you know I've been nominated for like 15 Grammy. I got my last Grammy nomination, Grammy nomination in the car with me right now, right? They give you a little thing and a little letter saying she this and that. I've been nominated like 15 times, right? So I'm like fed up with the Grammy. So How I many you got? Try zero on for size. What? No, 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 yeah, no, no. Zero. You're in the Nas camp? You, yeah. you and Nas both? Yeah. Oh, I thought you definitely had Grammy. Me I've been too. 15 oh, times. Oh, wow. That's, yeah, 15. That's some bullshit. So I say, in so many words, I'm like, you know, I tell my Uncle Quincy Jones, I'm like, Quincy, man, what it would take to win a Grammy, man? You know what I'm saying? I, I know I'd have made some great music. He's like, well, let me tell you something, nephew. If you really want to win a Grammy, go do a song with Clark Terry, and you get a Grammy. That's it. Guaranteed. That's, I mean, I took his advice. So when that record comes out, I'm looking forward to getting my first grand. There it is. The jazz world. It's done. Yo, I cannot it's believe crazy. that. Because I'm the Susan Lucci. Who did you lose? <laughs> That's what he called Nas. Yeah, called he called Nas, Nas Susan the Susan Lucci. Lucci. I am the Susan Lucci. You guys are both hip hop. No. Nas, we need word? to do a. Hey, Nas, you know what? Let's throw a party saying fuck the Grammys. Yeah. And let's name all the people who didn't receive a Grammy. Because I heard. Curtis Mayfield never received one. I heard mm. Daryl Hall and John Oates never received one. No. Too far. They're my favorite. That's too far. So I'm giving you some game right now. So it's not just me. It's some bad motherfuckers that never even received one that, that don't even get the mention of. So it's like the Grammys need to, they need to do what the world is doing. Get them old motherfuckers out with them white wigs and get some young folks up in there and, and make up for the back pay. The, the G and Grammys stand for G-Pay, you know what I mean? And get the real Grammys. I like the new Grammys, the G-Pay Grammys. Y'all owe me. Y'all delinquent. That's really crazy. And here's the fun, funny thing I find interesting about Imagine it. Imagine if I was Kanye West. No, if I can. If you were Kanye West, you'd have 18. I, I think I'd he has slap, 18. I would have slapped somebody, kicked somebody in the head. I would have done something outrageous by now. Snoop, though. Exactly. Thank you, exactly. They know. Thank you, Again, brother. speaking Thank how ironic, because he was supposed to be scary, but nice Snoop Dogg doesn't complain when he doesn't get a Grammy. Man, for what? Yo, but isn't it wild? Ye, between Ye, M, and J, they have close to 50. Around 50 between the three of them. It's nothing. 50 what? Grammys. Are you serious? J, yeah. J has 20. 
How? <laughs> a, lot of fe- a lot of features. Jay has 20. Albums, we yeah. did this last time because when Nas wouldn't win, I went through the list, right? And I looked and I'm like, Eminem has like 30 nominations, 18, 20 wins. Ye has like 17 wins. It's crazy. It's cool. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> That's not gonna make me mad because I'm cool. You no, because you're happy for hey, them. I'm, I'm but so it's whack at the same time. It's just it's so inconsistent. Like, where is the fucking Source Awards, man? Come <laughs> back. We need y'all. Yeah, Source Awards got ugly, Snoop. I don't know. If you remember yeah, you remember what happened? I was a part of it. Exactly. Uh, you was the biggest part of it. You I ain't got no love. For- I'm the one, not the two. <laughs> y'all ain't got no love. Yo, what was it? Do you remember your exact quote from the Source Awards? What's up? We know where we at. Y'all ain't got no love for Dr. Dre and Snoop, though, huh? Ah! 